Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pregi if you're new here. Um, in my last video, I had a skate park vlog where that was actually my first time at the skate park. Today will be about the fifth or sixth time that I've been at the skate park since then. Um, I made a caribou run because I'm not gonna lie, caribou has been kind of iffy recently. And I'm really hoping that the, like the coffee is up to standards as it used to be. Um, actually, let's just figure that out really quickly. Okay, today's good. Today's really good. Um, the last two times that I've had caribou was trash, like absolutely terrible. So I'm gonna quickly finish up my coffee and my bagel and we're gonna head out, gear up, warm up, do some stretches, and then let's see what we can do today, guys. So I'm definitely someone who wears all my skating gear. I know it's not as cute, but my brain and my body thank me for it when I'm learning something new. As for skates, I went with my derby skates instead of my heeled high top skates. No exact reason, just my personal preference for the day. Next up, we are warming up with some normal skating, sticky skating where your feet do not leave the ground, ankle rolls on both feet, and then squats. I moved into a nice stretch with a huge emphasis on my legs afterward. My legs were extra tight today, so I made a point to take it nice and slow. <laughs> okay. We're warmed up, we've stretched. Let's start with the baby ramp for today. I really like starting off with a smaller ramp because I know it's something I can do for sure and I feel like starting off your skating session with confidence is a good way to start. It brings a lot of energy and momentum into the rest of my time at the skate park. It's really crazy to think I had trouble going up and down this ramp before and now I'm able to skate on this ramp with so much confidence that honestly I didn't even think would be something I imagined I could do. As for this ramp, I still get a little uneasy when at the top. It seems so small looking at it, but once I'm at the top, it feels like I'm so high up off the ground. And it takes a lot of self-talk to get down it the first time. Once I make it down this ramp the first time, my biggest hurdle has been defeated. My mind and all of its doubts that it has. It feels so good to get all that negative self-talk out of you. Okay, so I'm feeling very confident on the, both the ramps actually, the small ramp and the big ramp. Um, the big ramp I could have a little bit more confidence, but overall feeling pretty good. So now I'm gonna tackle this thing. It doesn't look very, um, big here, but I'm gonna run this. Oh, I actually tackled this obstacle the other day and weirdly enough did not fall once. Maybe it was a pressure of people watching or maybe the fact that I was watching someone else do it and all I had to do was copy those same exact movements. I have no idea what it was. From falling a few times, I had less trust in myself, and the self-doubt was back in my head. And the only way to get rid of self-doubt is to prove it wrong. It ended up taking a lot of attempts to get rid of that self-doubt. I kept my knees bent, ready to take on the obstacle, and then boom, I was down. I know how to follow with that. Main thing, learning how to 
fall. Okay, now I'm gonna go in the bowl type thing. I'm gonna lie, this place is really messy. Like they're not messy. I mean, there are a lot of water bottles and cans and stuff, but more than that, they're just like like a lot of leaves and things around. So that's like a huge hazard for roller skaters. As silly as that sounds, or just skaters in general, like you get stuck in your wheels and it can be like the smallest little pebble and it gets stuck the wrong way, you go crashing down. So, we'll, 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 <laughs> good luck, good luck to Pregia. So I really like watching footage of my skating because I swear I thought I was bending my knees more here. And looking at this video, I definitely see that I was not bending my knees nearly enough. And it explains why I was having trouble adjusting my weight according to the bowl. Here's another representation of me thinking I was doing something when I was actually not picking up any height whatsoever and I was not even carving properly. More than anything, this is me just trying to get a better feel for the bowl and have fun at the same time. recently learned this transition that apparently can be used a lot in derby so I decided to practice that for a bit before calling it a day. call it for today guys thank you for checking out my vlog slash honestly progress video before I couldn't even do the baby ramp you see right there and now I can do the big ramp I can do kind of the uneven thingy um, and what else I'm like practicing going back and front back and forth in the bowl thing so yeah thank you for tuning in to my vlog and my progress video type thing and I hope to see you on the next video.